Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I am standing in my antique booth, Green Onion Vintage, and it's located at my treasure house in Edwardsville, Illinois. I am doing a big rework of my booth today for Christmas time. We just had a tent sale and it is a wreck in here. We have fall everywhere, Christmas everywhere, and I am ready to kind of get everything put back in its place and then also bring in some new items that I just crafted for Christmas time. So let's just get right to work. I know I have my work cut out for me. Okay, so here is this side of my booth. It is looking pretty rough in here right now. We just had the tent sale over the weekend. I didn't get to uh, film that for you guys because I was out of town, but it did go really well. We actually already sold a lot of Christmas, so it's looking a little bare in here. I did bring in a couple wreaths and um, just a couple other items that I'll show you but it is looking really hodgepodgey right now. I can see clearly that I need to separate out my fall items and kind of put them in their own little area and go a little bit more full force on Christmas. I am filming this November 11th, so I mean, people are buying for Christmas right now. It is that time of year for sure. So that's kind of my plan is to work on the color story because we just have a lot of things that are not blending together right now. There's things that are sticking out like a sore thumb in every direction. I don't love the layout of the furniture right now, but I don't necessarily know that I'm gonna change it. Definitely gonna change this wall display. So my goal is to make this larger side of the booth all Christmas. And then I'm gonna slowly flip you over to the other side of the booth. And then I'm gonna just leave this side be our fall until thanksgiving and at that point we'll take out anything fall hopefully there won't be much left it's already marked down 20 percent and then after thanksgiving we'll just transition straight to christmas all right i have a lot of work ahead of me i'm gonna try to do this in as short of time as possible but let's get started We actually are working out a way to ship smalls to you guys. So Cindy is the store owner here at My Treasure House in Edwardsville, Illinois. We've been chatting back and forth, trying to figure out how we can best get you guys the smaller items that you see in my videos that you would like to purchase. Um, what we've kind of come up with is that if you send Cindy your name, email, phone number, and oh shipping address of course she'll be able to send you an invoice um, she does a lot of online sales already and she uses square for her invoices so the payment would just come to your email you could pay online and then with your information she could ship the item to you and she's willing to do that work for me and of course that would be part of like my booth sales in her shop so it kind of is a win-win for everybody it takes the pressure off of me to figure out how to do the shipping and Cindy is more than willing to do that for you guys. And also she is a retailer for Iron Orchid Designs. So um, I'll also show you her Iron Orchid Design inventory and she'd be able to ship those things to you as well. So I know it's not very streamlined process right now as far as how to get her your information if you do wanna buy something. So if you're confused, just like send me a comment down below and I'll give you my email address and try to give you some information so that you can find Cindy. But I am gonna put the My Treasure House, this is important, Facebook link down in the description box. And that's where you're gonna to go to talk to Cindy. So you're gonna to go to the My Treasure House Facebook page and send them a private message with your information. And I'll list down below the information that's needed once again. So I know that's not super clear. I will also put an explanation down below in the description and the comments to try to help you guys out. Um, we are trying to keep, of course, like the shipping things a reasonable size because I don't know if you've noticed, but shipping is crazy expensive right now. Um, but, you know, the smaller items, she's going to try to package the best she can for you guys. And then, um, like I said, the iron orc designs that she carries, she is ready to ship those things to you as well. Okay guys, here are the results. 
of a little over an hour of rearranging. Give you a little look over first before I go a little closer. As you can see, I left all the furniture where it was. Um, I just had enough work to do <laughs> with the smalls to not have time to worry about the furniture also. Some of the pieces are so large that I can't actually lift them on my own or even scoot them really well. So everything's just kind of how it is for now, which is great. I really just needed to rearrange all the tabletops. So we can swing over here to this one. I have these bean pots, they're $4 each. This little bird nest for Christmas is 15. All right, there's a really bad shadow there. Let me pull this out. It's a little like greenery piece with the birds on it. It's really nice. Let me get a price. $12 for that one. All my little tree bundles I just did in my last DIY video, they're $8 each. These are still just the smaller size, I would say about four inches tall. So that this set here is $8. If you are shopping with me tonight and you are interested in something, it might help to note the time that the item pops up on my video and that you can include that in your description just so we don't get confused. Sorry about that. $30 for this sled with these mini trees inside. You can see that. Nice like vintage wicker sled. It has this wooden handle. I don't know that that's honestly shippable, but if you're a local buyer, that's a really cute little piece. I have this really nice condition vintage tablecloth. I didn't show it to you when it was unfolded. It's a nice little uh, lace detail on the edging. And then going back to this very large hutch we've had for a while now, I keep showing you guys. So beautiful. I didn't mess with the inside too much just because I had so much to do. I did put some things in there though to kind of hide them. Um, this hutch is $3.99. It's really beautiful. And then over here to this bird's eye maple dresser with a mirror. It's marked down to $2.50. Solid wood, serpentine drawers. It's really beautiful. Some of the smalls on here, I have this cloche with the wood base for $12. Inside is this pretty little berry wreath, more fall-ish than Christmas. It's $4.50. I just thought that looked really cute inside there. Just kind of a mini flocked tree. I would say that's about maybe two and a half feet tall. Let's see if there's a price tag. Right here, $38. It's really cute, like nice and squat and wide. Kind of got like a collectible Nestle tin here, five dollars. Has like all the seasons around the outside. Um, another set of trees. Um, Eight dollars for this little honeycomb jar. Twenty six ninety nine for that really cool candlestick. That looks like it's about 14 inches is my guess. The nice handmade cutting board down here for 72. It's got a steel plate on it, greenery, twine, hand carved. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna swing you guys around this direction. I really like how this kind of center display turned out. I'll work my way up for ya. I just got this little piece of railing in Tennessee down at uh, Mercantile 1858. I think the store is called. Really great store. So I'm selling it with the greenery and the skate all attached for 85. I thought that turned out really pretty. And I was really tempted to keep that for my own home, but I did bring it up here. I just brought it up pretty much as soon as I finished making it so that 
it would go into the booth and not hang up in my house somewhere. So I really just kind of tried to collect all of the red to the center because I thought that would be the best eye-catching color for Christmas. I like having some sparkle in the background. I feel like the booth could use a little bit more of that. So I'm going to be shopping soon, try to fill in some spaces in the booth. I also have more in my basement to be crafting and DIY, and this snowman's 29. It's a little bundle of uh, these shiny berries are $8. The gingham tree is $7.99. I have four of these ornaments. They're $3.99 each. I thought they were really cute and primitive. Oh, my battery's going to die. $14 for the tin. I'm not going to be able to do a full shop with you like I hoped of the Iron Orchid designs. That will be one of my upcoming videos though because I know that you guys are interested in that inventory. You're also always welcome to ask Cindy um, on the My Treasure House Facebook page what she has in stock and she's happy to help you with that. Um, these trees are $15 each. If you're seeing anything in this video that I don't give you a price for and you're interested in purchasing, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get a price to you as quickly as possible. I'm not going to be able to take my time like I hoped because my battery's going to die. That's such a bummer. Rookie mistake. I don't have a backup battery yet. Still want to give you guys a look at how the booth turned out though. And we can certainly shop together more in the near future. I'll show you the things inside here. And then very quickly, I'll show you this little cabinet I just brought in. That's the collard greens from Dixie Bell. Oh, I need to find that lamp a spot. I just remembered that. How beautiful are these? I want to say wicker. Oh gosh, these cane chairs and a love seat. Those are so beautiful. I've, we've had them probably in the last video, but I still wanted to show those. So here's kind of how the fall side turned out. Now I feel like when you walk into the booth, you kind of get like a, a season on each side, which is actually really nice, right? What a great way to shop. You get a little bit of everything. I appreciate you guys watching so much. You guys have been so fun and supportive of my booth and my small business, and I appreciate it so much. So I will let you guys go there. Look forward to talking with you down in the comments. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.